Welcome back guys, I'm Zell, and today we're looking at the Ganso G7522. The first Ganso I've seen with a ball bearing pivot. Alright, so getting into this, we have a G10 slab here, stainless here. All of our hardware has been anodized, and unlike the previous knife, that I messed with, one of the 753s. This hardware here is good. Pivot, not so good. I had some problems with it. You can see that in the full review. Uh, we have a G10 backspacer with some jimping cut in it. Feels really nice. I kind of like this. And we have a liner lock. Lock up on this one's at about 70, 80%, somewhere around there. And it's nice and solid. No blade play in any direction. Lockup is very, very good. And while we've got it open, our blade material is 440C with kind of a drop point. Some people might argue spear point shape and a flat grind with fullers on each side. And that would be a saber grind. It's not full flat, but fullers on either side. And the fullers are nicely cut. They done a good job there. Our pivot, like we said in the opening, is a bearing pivot with a liner lock slash frame lock because really this whole piece here is a frame and they just milled it out so we can stick some G10 over the top of it so you don't save some weight. Ergonomics. Good basic er ergonomics is it is just freaking beautiful. Flipping action. It's not the best I've ever seen, but it is way above almost anything else out there. And I don't care how much you spend in the production world. This thing is good. Is it perfect? Well, no, no, it's not a ZT0452 or 450, but it's not far off. And like the Spyderco Mantra, the uh, one with a big spidey hole in it, it is wonderful with thumb studs. Now that mantra is not wonderful with thumb studs, it's wonderful with the spidey hole, but just not using the flipper, this thing is beautiful. It is just awesome. Now, our ugly, the things that are a problem here, whenever you get your hand around it, you do have this box right here that nothing is chamfered in, nothing at all. So if you Normal holding the knife, it's probably not going to get you. But if you go to put a mean grip on that knife, it's going to get you. Also, since we have this split here for the frame liner lock the type deal, if you get your thumb too far back here, you will pinch it between the G10 and the stainless steel. So you got to make sure and get your thumb up forward whenever you go to lock it. If you're doing it left-handed, same thing. It's very easy to get your thumb in this area whenever you're trying to open and close it left-handed. Pocket clip. Very deep carry uh, for this size of knife. And the knife weighs about five ounces. So being all stainless like it is, Ganzo has done a really good job. And if you would like to know more about this knife, I have a full review up that went up last week and there will be a link at the end of the video and there will also be a link up under that eye on the upper right hand part of your screen and i really appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out with me for a few minutes this has been the ganzo g7522 quick review and don't forget to like share and subscribe and you have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time